Now let me bring you back to DASA. What exactly is the DASA scheme? Remember, if a candidate is not able to fill out the application form in one go, the registration fee of 300 US dollars is non-refundable. Now many of you might be wondering about the seat allotment procedure. Let's understand how it works. For the seat allotment in the second round as per intercity merit. If candidate has not opted for DASA seats, then only CIWG seats will be shown to him. Hello students, welcome to Allen Overseas. As we promised that we are going to bring a detailed video for all of you where we will talk about the DASA scheme. The motive of this video is to make you aware of the benefits of the DASA scheme 2023. So let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about the DASA scheme, motive of DASA, number of seats available under DASA scheme, eligibility criteria, tentative schedule and dates for DASA 2023, documents required, registration procedure, fee structure, refund rules and policy, participating institutes under DASA, seat allotment procedure, CIWG, number of seats available under CIWG, additional documents for CIWG and fee structure for CIWG. Now, let's understand the basics first. JE Main, a test which is the key requirement to participate in DASA counselling. JE Main is a computer-based online test conducted by National Testing Agency for students aspiring to pursue undergraduate courses in top engineering institutes in India. It is the first phase of the famous joint entrance exam. The examination is conducted in two sessions. Session 1 takes place in the month of January and Session 2 takes place in the month of April. The candidate can further opt to appear for one exam or both exams. More significantly, the students are granted admission to NITs, IIITs and other premier technical institutes based on the marks obtained in JE Main. Also, top 2,50,000 students from JE Main will qualify to appear for JE Advance. What is JE Advance? It is the only gateway for students to land a seat in premier engineering institutes like IITs. It includes 23 IITs offering around 16,598 seats to the eligible candidates. Apart from IITs, these are the institutes that accept JE Advance course. J Advance consists of two papers, Paper 1 and Paper 2. It is mandatory for all students to appear for both the papers in order to be eligible for the merit list. Candidates are granted admission to various undergraduate courses as well as master's and dual degree programs offered by IITs based on marks scored and ranks secured in the JE Advanced examinations. Do you know offshore IITs are coming soon? If you want to know more about this, the link for the same is given in the description below. Now let me bring you back to DASA. What exactly is the DASA scheme? DASA stands for Direct Admission of Students Abroad, a program aimed at providing opportunities to foreign nationals, persons of Indian origin, non-resident Indians, overseas citizens of India to pursue undergraduate engineering and architecture programs in NITs triple ITs, SPAs that is School of Planning and Architecture and other premier technical institutions. The DASA scheme 2023 is an initiative by the Ministry of Education India. For this session, NIT Calicut will act as the coordinating institute. But what is the motive behind the DASA scheme? DASA scheme allows students to pursue courses in renowned Indian institutions known for their academic excellence and research opportunities through JE Main School. It also offers flexibility regarding course selection and the ability to choose from a wide range of disciplines. One common question is how many seats are available under the DASA scheme? Well, 15% of supernumerary seats are specifically reserved for the DASA scheme and allocated exclusively for students applying through DASA, that is around 4,283 seats, as per 2023 data. Now let's move on to the essential eligibility criteria for admission. To be eligible for the DASA scheme 2023, candidates must meet the following criteria. Candidates born on or after October 1st, 1998 are eligible. What is the academic eligibility? 
candidates must have passed the 10 plus 2 examination or equivalent from any system of education as recognized by the Association of Indian Universities. Now, if there is a candidate appearing in 10 plus 2 in 2023 is also eligible for DASA but needs to submit 12 boards result before 31st December 2023. If there is a candidate who has cleared 12 with 60% marks or 6.0 CGPA in aggregate with physics, mathematics and one of the subjects from chemistry, biotechnology, computer science or biology. Candidates must have a valid JEE main 2023 rank. Now this is the academic eligibility criteria for BR and this is the eligibility criteria for B planning. SAT score is not valid for DASA counselling except for Triple IIT Hyderabad. Now let's talk about the residential requirement. All foreign nationals studying in any country including India or Indian nationals studying in abroad who fulfill prescribed admission criteria shall be eligible. Please note that Indian nationals must have completed at least two years of education in a foreign country including the 11th and 12th grades or their equivalent but not beyond. The education should have taken place once in a foreign country within the last eight years. Let me show you the tentative dates for the DASA 2023. You can also find a detailed document consisting of all this information in the description. Now that we know the tentative schedule, let's talk about the documents required when applying for the DASA scheme. Make sure that you have the following documents ready, that too in the precise format given in the brochure. Candidate's passport, proof of date of birth, mark sheets of grades 10th, 11th and 12th, a proof of 11th and 12th completion or equivalent certificate from school authorities, a percentage or CGPA equivalent certificate, proof of two years of education in a foreign country, that is 11th and 12th completion, J E Main 2023 scorecard. Remember, in case you are an NRI, you need to submit a school leaving certificate or mark sheet or study certificate as given in brochure. Now, with all the documents in hand, let's discuss how to register for the DASA scheme. Here is a step-by-step -step guide. First of all, visit the official website, that is www.dasanit.org. To register, you need to enter your JEE main application number and date of birth. Your JEE main application number is your username. Enter the capture words. Once you have entered the correct details, click on Create My Account. An email will be sent to you on your registered email ID with the link to complete the registration. Enter the applicant ID and password. Remember your applicant ID and password for future references. Fill out the application form with the required details. Submit the complete registration form. Upload the required documents. Pay the first semester fees with the application form. Remember, if a candidate is not able to fill out the application form in one go, then he or she can save and continue it in subsequent sessions but you must complete the application form before the due date. Once the form is submitted, candidates will not be able to modify any details in the application form. You need not send the hard copy of the application form and documents to the DASA office. To fill in the application form, use Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome browser while using DASA admission portal. Microsoft Internet Explorer is not recommended. Now that we have learned to fill in the application form, let's understand the fee structure for the DASA scheme. Here is what you need to know. For DASA seats, there are two subcategories, DASA non-SARC and DASA SARC. The registration fee for both subcategories is 300 US dollars, which is not refundable. For DASA non-SARC category, tuition fee for first semester is 4,000 US dollars and for DASA SARC, Except India, tuition fee for first semester is 2000 US dollars. So, the total fee is to be paid with application form for DASA, non SAR category, that is 4300 US dollars, and for DASA SAR category, it is 2300 US dollars. There are some guidelines. Foreign nationals 
who are nationals of SAR countries except India are eligible for a 50% tuition fee waiver provided they have passed the qualifying examination in SAR countries. They need to pay US dollars 2300. Candidates need to pay a different amount for admission in triple ITs and other premier technical institutes as per the institute's fee structure. The fee can be paid using SWIFT, ePayment, NEFT or RTGS transfer. Any transaction charges towards SWIFT, ePayment, NEFT or RTGS should be borne by the candidate. It's important to be aware of the refund rules and policies. Here is what you need to know about the refunds under the DASI scheme. The registration fee of 300 US dollars is non-refundable. All refunds will be through SWIFT, NEFT, RTGS transfer only. The full tuition fee will be refunded in the following cases. Applicants who withdraw their application on or before the last day. Applicants who are not allotted any seat as per their choices. Applicants who are found not eligible at the time of processing the application. A 50% tuition fee will be refunded in the following cases. Applicants who are allotted any seat as per the choices and do not accept the allotment by choosing the decline option. No tuition fee is refunded in the following cases. Applicants who accept the seat allotted later on change their decision by not joining. Applicants who withdraw their admissions after joining the institutions for any reason or could not submit academic or other documents on time. Applications who are allotted a seat in the special round. Moving on, let's talk about the participating institutes covered under the DASI scheme 2023. There are 63 participating institutes under DASA including 31 NITs, 11 triple ITs, 3 SPAs and 18 other premier technical institutes. These institutions provide excellent opportunities for higher education. As you can see few participating institutes on the screen, let's take an example of one of them. In NIT Arunachal Pradesh, for Computer Science and Engineering, there are three seats for DASA and for CIWJ there is only one seat. For more information, you can find the detailed document consisting of all the seat matrix 2023 participating institutes in the description below. Now let's understand this with the help of a case study. Rahul, who is a non-resident Indian, that is an NRI student who completed his 11th and 12th from CBSC board from one of the Gulf countries, for example, Kuwait, and appeared in the JEE main entrance exam from Kuwait. Another student, Prashant, is an Indian student from Jaipur, Rajasthan, who completed his 11th and 12th CBSC board from India only. He appeared for the JE main entrance exam from Rajasthan state. For the admission into top most reputed colleges of India, the Indian government has provided Rahul with an opportunity to take admission in these colleges under the DASA category based on his performance in the JEE main exam. As you can see on the screen, for NIT Trichy in Computer Science Engineering, the JEE main opening rank and closing rank for Prashant is 3730 and 4132 respectively. And for Rahul, it is 1464 and 12849 respectively. So, according to the above ranks, Computer Science is the most in-demand branch in NIT Trichy having the higher cutoff in comparison to other branches for both Prashant and Rahul. During NIT Trichy placements 2022, the highest package stood at INR 40 LPA. The UG batch achieved 90.9% .9 placements. Recruiters like HCL, Goldrage, Wipro, Google, Adani, etc. participated in the placement drive. NIT Trichy research programs are funded by major public and private organizations. A few of these include the Ministry of Education, Tata Motors and Tata Steel. In addition, the Indian Space and Research Organization that is ISRO has established the Space Technology Incubation Center that is STIC at NIT Trichy to create products for upcoming missions. 
As you can see on the screen, for NIT Calicut, in Computer Science Engineering, the JEE main opening rank and closing rank for Prashant is 9190 and 11263 respectively, and for Rahul, it is 16484 and 9119 respectively. So, according to the above ranks, Computer Science Engineering is the most in-demand branch in NIT Calicut, having the higher cutoffs in comparison to other branches, both for Prashant and Rahul. Similarly, the Organizing Institute releases the opening and closing ranks for the DASA category according to which seat allotment is performed. It might also be possible that not every branch in every institution has seats reserved under the DASA or CIWG. Now many of you might be wondering about the seat allotment procedure. Let's understand how it works. As of now, there are three rounds and one special round. There is also a provision of internal sliding. Any candidate will have the freedom to select any institute or course depending on the eligibility criteria. First round of allotment. All eligible applicants would be considered for the first round of allotment. Now, in round one, there are three situations. Situation one, if a candidate who has been allotted its first choice in round one will have two options, either accept or decline. If you accept the allotted choice, then the provisional letter will be generated. But if you decline the allotted choice, then the seat cancellation and withdrawal letter will be generated. And you will not be eligible for further seat allotment rounds. Thus, it is advisable to go for other rounds if you feel that you may get a seat. Now comes situation two. If a candidate who has been allotted any institute or course in round one, but not the one he desires, will have three options either accept or accept and upgrade or decline. If you are accepting the allotted institute, then the provisional letter will be generated. If you are accepting the currently allotted seat but are also interested in round two for upgradation of your institute or course as per the choice filled, in this case, the provisional letter will be generated. If you decline the allotted institute, then the seat cancellation and withdrawal letter will be generated and you will not be eligible for further seat allotment rounds. Those who have not been allotted any seat in round 1 should wait for round 2. Now, second round of allotment. All eligible candidates who were not allotted a seat in the first round and all those who had opted for accept and upgrade in the first round would be considered for the seat allotment in the second round as per inter merit, that is, second merit list. Candidates who are allotted their first choice of institutes in round two have two options, accept and decline. Candidates who are allotted any choice of institutes in round two have three options, either accept, or accept and upgrade or decline. Not been allotted any seat in round two should wait for round three. Now, third round of allotment. All eligible candidates who were not allotted a seat in the second round and all those who had opted for accept and upgrade in the second round would be considered for seat allotment in the third round as per interse merit. Candidates who are allotted their first choice of institutes in round three have two options accept or decline. Candidates who are not allotted any single choice to course or institute in round three can opt for the exit option or the participate in special round option, internal sliding. It would be conducted for all the registered candidates based on inter merit for vacancies that exist in the institute. Now let's talk about the special round. Candidates who have already paid the fee but have not got any allotment in earlier rounds will be considered for the special round. Now let's discuss the CIWG quota, which stands for Children of Indian Workers in Gulf. It is a special provision for admission to undergraduate engineering courses in India. Here is what you need to know. The CIWG quota is specially designed for Indian nationals working in the Gulf countries. Countries that fall under the category of CIWG quota are United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar and Saudi Arabia. Remember, you can also visit our Allen Overseas Offline Centers in UAE, Kuwait and Oman to get more information. So, how many seats are available under the CIWG quota? Let's find out. 
5% of seats within 15% of the supernumerary quota of DASA are reserved for the CIWG, that is one third of seats from the DASA quota are reserved for CIWG. Remember, the supernumerary quota refers to the additional seats reserved under the DASA scheme, apart from the regular admission seats. These seats are reserved for the specific categories of applicants such as foreign nationals, persons of Indian origins, that is PIOs, and overseas citizens of India, also OCIs. Now let's look at the seat breakdown. Total 15% supernumerary seats of participating institutes are under DASA scheme. That is approximate 4,283 seats as per 2023. To calculate the number of seats reserved for CIWG, one-third of the seats from DASA quota, that is one-third of 4,283, and that is 1,426 seats. Therefore, 5% of the seats within the 15% supernumerary quota, which are reserved for CIWG, would be 1,426 proximate seats. Now let's talk about the additional documents required for CIWG quota. For those who are applying under the CIWG quota, there are some additional documents required. Make sure you have the following. Copy of the passport of the parent working in the Gulf countries. Copy of parent's visa with validity on any date in the year 2023. Copy of parent's work permit with validity on any date in the year 2023. Certificate from the company organization as proof that the parent is working in the Gulf country. If a parent has been working in the Gulf till any date in the year 2023, then the certificate may stay the same. Now let's talk about the fee structure for candidates applying under the CIWG quota. Here is what you need to know. The registration fee for CIWG is US dollars 300, which is non-refundable. For CIWG category students, tuition fee for first semester is 758 US dollars. So the total fee is to be paid with application form and that is 1058 US dollars as on 12th June 2023. Remember, the fee can be paid by SWIFT, ePayment, NEFT, RTGS transfer. Any transaction charges towards SWIFT, ePayment, NEFT or RTGS would be paid or borne by the candidate. Important, NRI candidates who are eligible for CIWG category will have the option to be considered for other seats of DASA as well, but need to pay the fee accordingly. NRI candidates will be shown both CIWG and all other DASA seats as two different options for each institute and branch during the academic program choice filling. If final admission is given in the CIWG category, the balance amount of the fee will be refunded. If candidate has not opted for DASA seats, then only CIWG seats will be shown to him. Now, let's take some frequently asked questions. My son wants to apply for both DASA and CIWG. Can he apply? And the answer is yes. A student can apply both for CIWG and DASA. But they should meet the respective eligibility criteria for each category. Next question. I am an Indian national working in non-SAR country and my daughter is also studying here. In which category she will be eligible to apply? DASA SARC or DASA non -SARC. Well, she would generally be eligible to apply under the DASA category for non sar countries. Next, what will be the JEE main rank cutoff for admission under DASA? Well, the JEE main rank cutoff for DASA varies every year because of having more than one variable factor. Next question, I completed my 11th and 12th in Iran. Am I eligible both for CIWG and DASA seats? Well, if you have completed your 11th and 12th in Iran, you are eligible both for CIWG and DASA seats under the DASA scheme. Next question. My daughter completed up to 10th standard in Gulf, 11th and 12th in India. My husband is working in one of the Gulf countries. Is she eligible for the CIWG quota? 
well as she has not completed her 11th and 12th from Gulf. She is not eligible for the CIWG quota. That concludes our discussion on the DASA scheme 2023. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and guidance for your application process. Here is an important information for all of you. If any special guidance or counselling is required by any candidate regarding the DASA scheme, the Google form is attached in the description below. Kindly fill in the details and our team will get in touch with you soon. And if you feel that you need to reach out to us directly, kindly contact us on the displayed numbers. Good luck.